Hi. Greetings. How are Hello. you? Hello. Hi. Greetings. How are you? How are you? How are you? It's Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. You know who it is. We're back again doing some memes with music memes where we look at some memes that are oriented around music. You, you guys know music. music's a community, music's a culture, and any culture online has, has its little funny little inside jokes. Uh, that 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 uh, uh, manifest themselves in, in the way of memes, and uh, many of them make me wish that music was never invented. But um, you know, that's that's where we are currently. We really live in a society. So without any further ado, do let's get into this do do. Live laugh. Oh, I I love that phrase. That is one of my favorite phrases. Live, laugh, love. Uh, Every single time I see it, I just imagine like, what is the type of person that sees this? Are they actually as happy as the phrase that they're purchasing to have up in their home? Or are they like living this depressed existence where, you know, this is like the type of thing that if, if we lived in a dictatorship, they would force you to have like hanging in your house so that it's like, make sure you live, laugh, and love. Uh, yes, I listened to Blade. What gave it away? My thick fucking veins, my Chad fucking form and muscles. Is there anyone who listens to Blade that isn't just like a massive pussy smashing alpha? I don't think so. Chad! Chad! Chad fucking form. My thick fucking Chad! Uh, Nostalgia Critics of the Wall, you're one of Doug Walker's top fans worldwide. You're one of their top 1% fans. Hit play on their radio and we'll provide an endless stream of their music. Wow, beautiful. It's like playing life on fucking God mode. To be able to be in Doug Walker's top 1% of fans, which granted, I suppose you don't have to stream too much of his music to get there. But, I mean, once you're there, you are a member of a very exclusive club. Like, one of the most exclusive clubs of all time. Like, there are probably more flat earthers than there are, like, top 1% of Doug Walker fans. You get that, right? Like, there are probably more people that think uh, 5G is, like, you know, causing coronavirus than there are people who are in the top percent of of, uh, Doug Walker fans. Yes! Yes! This is the remix of a lifetime. This is <laughs> this is this is the album cover mashup that we truly and honestly needed. Shout out to the Vipe Man. As much of a troll as he is, as much as he has trolled me over the years, the Vipe Man, he deserved this W. You've earned this W today, sir. You've earned it. Good good job. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Mother has yelled at me. It appears that once again I must listen to Omaha indie folk band Bright Eyes. <laughs> it's going to be really awkward jamming Bright Eyes in front of our kids. You know what I mean? It's it's not quite like being like, yeah, you know, I grew up with Led Zeppelin. It's going to be really fucking weird, like showing your kids your cry music. That's that's going to be an awkward situation. If Bright Eyes is like your favorite band and you're going to be like, hey, let's listen to this. And, you know, Connor Obers is like, a string on a string I hate you your kids are gonna hate you uh yeah yes this is not even funny I am wearing Crocs right now I am wearing Crocs do this to my Crocs customize my Crocs this way please I would rock that I would rock that shit yeah I made a concept album the concept is that it's bad Certainly does make a point, does it? I mean, not all concepts are good concepts. Sometimes your concept sucks. Guy fucks his best friend's track using too much reverb on the snare. (laughs) Is there really such a thing, though? You know, a a snare with some good splashy thick reverb on it, on, on the right song, on the right style of track with the right artist can sound Fantastic. You know, really, really adds some, some depth, some depth to, uh, to that sound, especially when it's the only thing with reverb on it. Hey, babe, thank you for introducing me to Echo 2K. 
I love when you share your interests with me. Anyway, can you tell me more about how the Rat Simmons SS03 Consumed Collection explores the concept of modern day consumerism present in our society? Yes. Babe, please move on. The accident wasn't your fault. I'm in a better place now. I will always love you. Wow. That um that that meme went to a place I did not expect it to go. That went to a very dark place very fast. So unassuming at first. I thought it was gonna be one of those pretentious memes where I I guess he's living out a fantasy because like nobody's gonna be asking you about the fucking uh, uh, consumed collection or whatever. I hope anyone who lost their drained loved one uh, in a horrific accident is, um, you know, having a chill day today, and uh, uh, that that this meme has not uh, uh, created a, a, a rain cloud, um, you know, over overhead or anything like that. You know, st stay strong. You know, stay strong, stay drained, and uh, you'll you'll find somebody else who is as drained as you are one day. Just let go. It's okay. I will always be watching. Uh, we have Lemmy Trill, mister. I can't fucking live this way anymore. Just leave me here to vibe. Um, I, I suppose. I suppose I can get down with this meme. Just, just a lot of harsh vibes. Uh, just, just dogging everybody on the internet. Just let, let's let's just chill. Let's just chill. Why's it got to be this way? Why's it got to be this way? Let's just stay socially distant and chill the f out. Washing uh, <laughs> its technique with are these like the pulse demon waves? Is is this what is is going on here? Because if if that's what this is, that's clever. That's funny. But yeah, I suppose if you're looking for the ultimate hand washing experience, uh, some multi uh, minute multi phase noise piece is uh, really the way to go. My mom said it's my turn on Guitar Hero, bitch! Are there any people who are like more badass than someone who's like really good at Guitar Hero? Save some pussy for the rest of us, dude. Like, seriously. <laughs> I, I guess Guitar Hero is just so close to the concept of playing an actual guitar, I don't, I don't get why you wouldn't rather just play guitar guitar. There are even apps that are like, hey, here, learn to play guitar and like, you know, play it to this song that we've recorded here and, and we'll literally score you on how good you played guitar. It's, it's literally the same thing, but you're actually learning to play a guitar. Uh, Oh man, that is like, that is some like power couple goals, man. To like just be on that same shoegaze wavelength with your significant other and your doge hidden there in the side as well. That's, um, I think that's, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. That's a lovely thing. It's funny how many of these memes like really speak to a certain kind of loneliness where it's like all that music nerds want is basically the male or female version of themselves where they like listen to and vibe to exactly the same music in the exact same way and then you're just like vibrating on the same wavelength and and that in and of itself is like better than sex it's just better than sex yes, no. guys i'm sorry i said little uzi vert is bad please stop flipping me off damn man i these boys right here i gotta tell you after i did that ea review uh it was it was merciless. Just day in, day out. Me and my family. Hold up in my house. Scared. Scared the moment one of them is going to be tucked up in a little ball, flying through the window, crashing through the glass, ready to cut my head off. Because I didn't say that uh, Eternal Attack was the greatest thing of all time. Now, having said that, uh, I am much more afraid of the prospect of that happening if I don't end up liking the uh, the new Playboy Cardi album. So, look, if I don't like the record, uh, but I still have to give it a positive review, just look at my face. I'll get I'll give a wink. I'll be like, yeah, it's it's a nine. Save me. Save save. That's a groove. That's a groove, and and that li that little squeaker sounded fucking nice.
I would honestly be down to hear that in a recording. Sounds like something you'd hear on a fucking, I don't know, King Gizzard record. Although I would imagine just just thinking of it from the perspective of, of, a, of a producer, of an engineer, would be a fucking nightmare isolating that. Like just miking that so that it would sound okay and then not having that bleed aggressively into everything else going on. I'm just imagining how uh, terrible that would be and how much that would make me uh, want to die. And I think we are going to leave it at that. You are the best. Uh, thank you very much for watching this latest installment of Music Memes. Over here next to my head is a, another video in the series that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Music Memes Forever.